Welcome back to another episode of Dr. Taste Good Barbecue. What I have for you today. Today we're doing up some Omaha Steaks Kielbasas. Look at these bad boys. Boom. We're also going to be using the Slot Dog. No, no. Just kidding. Enjoy. Alright, so what I'm doing here is just getting the charcoal lit. Just went with about three quarters of a starter full of some Kingsford Professional there. So with this cook, I really didn't need a full chimney, so it was nice. Just getting those flames, letting them get white hot. And we'll make our coal bed. All right, now that I have the coals dumped in, just making a direct and indirect cooking area here, so splitting the grill in half. If you can see with my charcoal grate, I have it running north and south, and that just makes it a lot easier for me to move the coals around. If you try to do it the other way, it just won't work for you. But using the Weber charcoal rake, it's a great little tool. I think it's 13 bucks. So if you're into charcoal, I would recommend it. Time to get cooking. Put a little spray oil down there. Just keep things from sticking. Not sure what I'm doing with the tongs there. Just blessing the grill, I guess. Let's put down these kielbasas. So going right over direct heat right now. And again, I have, in case stuff starts getting a little overcooked here, I can pull these right off to the indirect side just to save them. You can call it a backup plan. We'll give them a little flipsy here in a second. Let's check them out. So right now we're just going for a little color on them. All right, we're really cooking now. See that flame coming up? It's just looking beautiful. So we keep going here, you'll see what I was kind of talking about. So I'm getting the color I want. So I'm going to start pulling some of these guys off to the side here, moving them around a little bit. You, know, you kind of find your hot spot every time. There we go. Those ones are right where I want them. About ready to dome this thing up. Finish this cook. All right, well, we should be about done here. Let's take a peek. Looks like a win. Let's take these bad boys off the Weber kettle. And the only thing else left to do is have a taster.
All right, let's check it out. Let's jump into this taster. Actually, good looking, good smelling. Mmm, that's a little crunch. I think that was probably the second best thing I've had from Omaha Steaks. Those potatoes are definitely number one. Hey, these are number two. Hey, thanks for watching. If you liked the video, hit that like. I'll put a subscribe icon right about there. Put another video for you right there.